In this movie, we're going to explore the Q, or resonance, section of the evolution filter. I'm going to change the patch a little bit from when I was playing around with the genus section. I'm going to take our mod wheel control voltage and run it to resonance, so I can go ahead and vary the resonance from my keyboard. I'm going to also run a second control voltage from my second envelope generator to the resonance QCV and leave that knob right now at zero. Just turn up a little bit to 12 o'clock. There we go. I'm also going to change my waveform to the square wave coming from my disting because I can make it easier to see what's going on in some cases. I'm going to change the sync signal to also synchronize to the disting so the oscilloscope gives a nice steady display. Now the resonance out of this filter is very eager. It will quickly go into oscillation. I'm going to turn up the VCA for now. Go up an octave. And start increasing the resonance amount. You hear that the resonance of this filter will try to lock on to the incoming frequency or some harmonic of it. Obviously, if you don't have an input signal, it will create its own tone, which it can be tuned with a frequency control and will track the keyboard. <laughs> Let's turn off the envelope amount for now. It tracks over a several octave range, and I found the tracking to be quite tight. Out of the box, this tracks as well as a digital oscillator such as the disting. Put my envelope back in for now. A little bit of amount. Take it out of resonance. Plug my input back in again. There's this additional control called Q level compensation. With a normal ladder filter, as the resonance increases, there's some phase cancellation of the original tone coming through the filter. So I'll turn it all the way down. There's our full signal coming through the filter with a bit of high harmonics removed. But as I increase my resonance, watch the level of the filter, the green trace go down. What Q-level compensation does is boost the original signal so it stays more even as you increase resonance. And you can use that however you want. You can even overcompensate. So it goes into clipping at high resonance. Somewhere between a third and a half keeps a pretty even signal level. Finally, you can modulate the resonance through normal means, such as an envelope, but even frequency modulated. Initially, I'm going to use an envelope so I can either get a burst of extra resonance at the start of a note, or duck the resonance so that the beginning of the note is clean, and then we go into resonance later. I'll get another little arpeggio going here. Lower the cutoff. Lower the initial resonance. Nice round sound. I'll say we want a burst of resonance just on the attack of that sound. I'll increase the control voltage from my second envelope. So we get the resonance sound just at the beginning of a note. Of course, that character changes with the genus. the other direction and have the beginning of the note not have any resonance and then fade to having lots of resonance. So I have a negative amount right now where it's driving the resonance down and I'll turn up the initial resonance amount. Now the start of the note is clean but we go into resonance when we sustain the note. Another interesting thing is the way that resonance interacts with 
the genus of this filter. You'll find that the resonant frequency changes with the genus. I'll sustain a note. So you see our square wave, increase the resonance until we get into a bit of a oscillation here. Tune up the frequency. The number of humps in the output waveform shows where the resonance cutoff frequency is. But as I start to increase the genus, notice that the duration of those humps, the pitch of that self-oscillation changes. Higher number of poles, more space or lower pitch for that resonant peak. Turn down the input level a little bit. Turn down the resonance amount a little bit. You see the level changes too. I'll turn off the compensation a little bit here. You can hear it very audibly there change pitch as I change the number of poles. So that's another modulation possibility to actually change the pitch coming out of a resonant filter while you're sustaining a note just by varying the genus, the number of poles of this particular filter. Finally, as I promised, you can drive this filter with an oscillator. I'm going to go borrow my sync signal temporarily here, get the triangle out from my second oscillator and play around with FM depth. There's a nice intermediate level, start increasing the FM depth. Bipolar control has the same effect on an oscillator and dial in the sound that I want. Not as drastic as FMing the filter cutoff or the genus, but still another timbral possibility.